Hi everybody, continuing on my series where I talk about the songs from my second album. This video is about song number 12 on the album called Corrosion. So I'm going to start off by showing the amazing artwork that was done for this track. Uh, so this is uh, the card that was done by Audrey Desrosiers. This is the card that was done by Alex Bell. This is the photo that was taken by photographer Philip Faith. And this is a card that was done by Emily Léger. So, Corrosion. Uh, Corrosion is uh, a song about time um, in an album that uh, had the running theme of uh, desire. I wanted to put in there a song that was uh, addressing the desire for immortality um, and then, you know, coming to terms with one's mortality. Uh, you know, really accepting that uh, you just gotta do the best with uh, the time frame that's given to you in this lifetime to just accomplish as much as you can set yourself up for. Uh, so, yeah, the song itself, um, I do believe I've been saying that about pretty much all the songs on the album, but I am so proud of how it turned out. Um, it's a song that um, the structure of it is very special. Uh, it has like three parts. There's no chorus. Uh, so to me already, that was like a really cool uh, challenge uh, that I gave myself because, you know, I wanted it to be about time. So I wanted it to have like part A uh, where it's uh, softer, more melodic, which is like childhood and innocence. And then part B, which is like the realization uh, that, you know, you do have this limited time frame, and then part C, which is just the all the feels part of the, like, you know, you're just going through all the emotions and, you know, refusing and then, you know, the acceptance and um, in the end, that last line that says no escape from the needle of time, I think that that is definitely one of the most powerful uh, lyrics in all the song, uh, in all the album. Uh, so basically um if you single out uh the piano uh when you listen to the track you um well there's part a uh like i said you know i wanted it to be the sort of softer melodic more innocence uh the nice aspect of like embracing uh time <clears throat> itself and the time you're given um so you know i had like the guitar player do a counter melody to that and then the bass is really soft and so are the drums but then as you come into parts b and c when you listen to the keyboards uh and at the end uh we put some uh church organ sound um so when you listen to that uh it's there's not a lot going on uh the piano really takes a step back in uh in, in its presence um, on the song and it's it really becomes uh, bass and guitar driven it's more it's, it's riff driven uh, so as to say so the reason why I'm so proud of that song is because it was probably the song that was the most complex uh, for me to present to the musicians who worked on it um, the way that we worked for pretty much all the songs on the album uh, was that uh, I did my pre-prod piano and vocals and then we had the drummer come in uh, lay down the drums according to my directions then we had the bass player uh, then we brought back the drummer for a few adjustments um, and then we had the guitar player and then I redid uh, the keyboards and then I did the vocals so um, corrosion however it was like when I presented it to the drummer because what the piano was doing was so um, abstract and because like it's nothing on, on the drummer's end, but the drummer could not really bring forth what I wanted him to bring forth in parts B and C. It's, it's the song where we really had to get both the bass player and the guitar player to do their parts um, and then bring back the drums so that the drummer could understand what I was talking about, what I was saying, that at that point in the song, um, it really becomes super heavy, uh, and you just gotta, like, beat the shit out of those drums, um, because it was just, like, yeah, it was, like, way too abstract with just the piano doing, like, the really basic, uh, 
chord it, it's it's just like keeping the chords down and keeping like the basic rhythm down um so yeah i'm just so proud of it because it turned out to be such a good song um it's so powerful it's so heavy uh it just like rises and rises and rises and then also the fact that it just ends like that uh that was super fun to uh to tackle uh and to, to just choose um i'm usually someone that has like very uh the endings are like defined whereas that one was just like okay no we're just gonna stop we're gonna stop on the upbeat and it just so um and it's really cool also to uh to work on uh for the live shows uh it's definitely a cool thing where everyone has to be tight and finish uh at the same time kind of thing uh so yeah i'm just uh really really happy how it turned down it's uh by far uh one of my favorite songs on the album uh i did release it uh, actually as a first as a second single uh, before the release of the album and I really hope I'll get to uh, to do a video uh, like a full-on music video for it one day um, so yeah just uh, download the song uh, you've got the iTunes Spotify and Bandcamp links uh, in the description box uh, so download the song tell me what you think uh, share it if you love it and of course uh, go on my online store and get yourself uh, a copy of the original game uh, deck of cards for yourself so much love and I will see you on the next video